biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some pepper steak subs at the pit, and it's real easy to do. And don't let a little bit of ice get in your way. Just get it out. All right. Now, first thing you're going to need is some good beef. And here I have some ribeye, a ribeye roast. All right. Or a rib roast, boneless rib roast. You can call it what you want. And to save some money, what you do is you get a roast like this and you cut the steaks. Save you a couple bucks a pound. Nice looking ribeyes, plenty of marbling. These are perfect for these uh, pepper steak sandwiches. All right. Now, as always, you want to season your steaks. All right. Little SPG. All right. Both sides. Oh, man. And all SPG is essentially salt, pepper, and garlic. And a few other flavorings. You can go to our website and check it out, how we put it together. Or you can buy it off the shelf. Now, throw these ribeyes direct over the flames. We're going to sear them hard and fast. Mm. All we want to do is create a layer of flavor on the outside. We're not trying to cook these at all. We want them rare on the inside. Oh, yeah. It smells good. All right. Only takes a few minutes. Get that flavoring in there. Just like that. Now, grab yourself a black iron pan, because this is the way we're going to finish these off. And you slice these, all right? And you don't have to worry about uh, slicing across the grain. This here is ribeye. It's real tender. What we want to do is slice on the long end. We, might, we want long slices of this. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? This steak is raw, just the way we want it, and I'll show you why. Here we're just pulling off a little bit of the excess fat, but leave some of it on. All right, the ribeye has been sliced, and throw the slices in this black iron pan. Man. And the reason, like I said, is we're just putting it in rare or raw, is because we want the peppers and the pepper juice and flavorings to get into this beef and this is how you do it. Now, I've got a few jars of peppers, the more the merrier. And here, we're going to start out with some deli sliced pepper rings. And you want to use maybe three ounces or so. And here I've got some green chili peppers. I'll throw a, uh, maybe three ounces of green chili peppers in there. And here, I've got some roasted bell peppers. Again, maybe three ounces or so, or a tong full, or two. And here I've got some roasted bell peppers and caramelized onions. I think you see where we're going with this. All these peppers are going to flavor up this beef make it real good. And here I've got some uh, hot pepper rings. And here we've got some jalapeno peppers. This will add a little bit of heat to this dish. And here we've got some peppercinis. All right, you know what these but you got to remove the stems first. Right in. Now, if you've never had a pepper steak sub before, you definitely got to check this out. This is some good eating in the pit. <laughs> Man. Now, here we've got some cheese. This is a provolone cheese, and uh, it's a hard cheese. At least a good provolone is. We're going to throw some in this dish. It's going to add a lot of flavor. Choose what cheese you like, though. And here I've got some onion. Add a few slices. 
you got to have onion in that pepper steak sub. Here we've got some cherry peppers. This has got some heat. Take the stems off, cut them up a bit, throw them in the pan. Like I said, there's never enough peppers in this dish. And here we've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Maybe three ounces, maybe four ounces. Of course, you got to throw some garlic in there. So smash up a garlic or two. Yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, we're going to put the cover on. We're going to cook it for maybe five minutes, a little bit more. And in the meantime, we're going to make a mayo spread for the sandwich, and uh, all you need is a little bit of basil. Chop it up. Crush your garlic. You can use uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. It's always best to go fresh, right? And then throw in your favorite mayo. Simple enough. Now, let's put this pepper steak sub together. Now, it's real important you got some good bread. But you all know about that, right? It's all about the bread, too. If you got a great recipe, but your bread sucks, you just don't make it. Now, we'll put this uh, mayo spread on this... Uh, on this Italian bread. Spread it. You know all about this, right? Oh, 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 man. This is gonna be good. Oh, man. Take a look at that. Can you smell that? This smells good. Oh, man. Now this is a pepper steak sub. Pile it on high. It may be needless to say, but I will. You're not going to find this sandwich at any fast food joint. And this is why you got to make it yourself in your pit. Good living at the pit, making up these pepper steak sauce. Now, of course, you gotta do it this way. We've got some mozzarella cheese, right? Mutz, we call it, right? And load it on. Because uh, what we're gonna do is put it back on the grill and we're gonna toast this just for a few minutes. You gotta toast your sub. Put it opposite the hot coals. It'll only take a few minutes to toast it up. Melt that cheese. And in the miracle of time, this pepper steak sub is done. Now, of course, as always, and we've said this before, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster's Privilege. Oh, oh, oh.
So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, check out barbecuegoodboys.com.